introduction to the Abrigo Sageworks loan origination system with a focus on ag lending. Uh, the Sageworks platform is intended to aid you in the entire loan origination process, whether that is a lender prospecting a borrower on the front end, uh, all the way through to the underwriting process and generating credit presentations, back onto document preparation, boarding, uh, tracking your ongoing ticklers and monitoring covenants. Since we are looking at things specifically for ag today, there is a lot of ag functionality embedded in here, whether that is collecting ag specific documents on the front end, whether that is a farm budget directly in a borrower portal to the ag underwriting side. Today, we are going to be focusing on that ag side, uh, underwriting side specifically, as that is where a lot of our ag functionality resides. Take a look at the spreading functionality today. Uh, the first thing about the Sageworks platform is it is a relationship-based platform. And what that means is we have the ability to aggregate all entities that we are uh, looking at from a cash flow perspective and exposure perspective into a singular umbrella. So I can have as many farm entities, individuals themselves, businesses, properties, and I can review them uh, to get a true global perspective of that relationship. Today, we are going to hone in on the ag uh, inputs directly. You are working with ag financial statements. You'll see we have them listed out up top, historical income statements, the balance sheet, your statement of equity, the budget, so on and so forth. When you are doing the, the adjustments work, which is the process of what we are getting to here, you'll see that we have our standardized uh, chart of accounts of which you can do adjustments to along the way. One of the big things that we're doing on the ag side specifically is automated accrual adjustments. So within the income statement itself, based on the balance sheet data we have in the platform, the software will automatically calculate those accrual adjustments for you. So you will not have to manually do them yourself. We have a very thorough and detailed balance sheet, uh, breaking things down into current, intermediate, and long-term assets and liabilities so we can get as granular as we need to uh, on our ag relationships. We also have the ability to do a detailed itemization of all of the individual accounts that you see here. So if we take crop inventory as an example, we can track the individual crop. We can track how many was in inventory. Are we doing cost value, market value? And we can track that on a year per year basis. Uh, and see how those inventories are fluctuating. That does, again, apply to every line item on the balance sheet. On the statement of equity, where I'm looking to determine what the change in equity was, period over period, we do have the ability to do a earned net worth analysis, earned change in equity. So I can look at what the calculated market value was, uh, and do the calculated earned net worth, and we can show the difference in that change in equity. Uh, and you can do that in every period, and once again, track that year over year. We can collect and spread the farm budgets for the upcoming year, and once again, itemize things out in greater detail. What that will allow us to do is look at the total cash in, total cash out to get us the net cash flow. If you do a annual budget, that is what I have on the screen here, but we can do a monthly budget as well so we can look at what those cash flows are looking like on a month by month basis. So this will then generate our side-by-side -side analysis where I can compare the projected budget uh, against historicals, uh, whether that's tied to the income statement, the balance sheet. Uh, we're going to be calculating all of our ratios for this given farm, uh, as you can see here. So you'll, then you'll be able to do your write-up and analysis based on the financials in the platform. This is barely scratching the surface because we only looked at a farm ent entity today. But keep in mind, we could have businesses in here, people, we can look at global cash flows, and we have a variety of different ways to look at that information. The final end results will be that you can then generate that credit presentation where we are not duplicating any data entry along the way. 
thus saving you time in that generation. There's a lot more that can be discussed here, but I hope that was a good introduction to some of the capabilities we have. Thank you very much for your time today.